Hey guys, we're here to talk about the new X-Men movie, X-Men Supernova. Or at least, that's what 20th Century Fox and Marvel are calling it right now. What we do know is that they're eyeing Simon Kingberg to direct it, that they're going up into space, and that's going to be revolving around, hopefully, Jean Grey and the Phoenix Saga. Now, for all you comic book nerds out there like me, we all know that X-Men The Last Stand tried to cover the Dark Phoenix Saga. Now, it wasn't Brian Singer who directed it, it was Brett Ratner, but both are kind of at fault for this movie kind of going to the crapper. I mean, it was just seriously horrible. Like, the Dark Phoenix Saga was basically just emotional fodder for Wolverine to be in the spotlight again. They didn't do the character any justice, and we all know that the Dark Phoenix Saga is one of the most important storylines in the X-Men history, which is why it's no wonder that they're trying to go back and kind of rehash the storyline and make it popular again, because they know the fans are wanting it. And they just really massacred the storyline. So right now you're hearing how everyone on the internet is saying how X-Men Supernova is going to be the Dark Phoenix Saga. And I really hope it's not. Whatever happened to the entire The Phoenix Saga? There's an entire storyline where Jean Grey becomes the Phoenix where she's actually good. I am Phoenix! She actually saves the universe all on her own. Okay, maybe the X-Men helped a little, but she saves the universe, and then she goes dark when she gets drunk with power. I am fire made flesh, power incarnate. I am the dark phoenix. Jean, no! I think X-Men Supernova should be the X-Men going to space, Jean Grey becoming the phoenix, saving the galaxy, saving the universe, saving the world, and then the film after that needs to go into the Dark Phoenix Saga. I don't think you can do a storyline as popular and as important as the Phoenix Saga slash Dark Phoenix Saga in one movie. They tried to do that already. It was bad. We planted the seed that Jean Grey has a, at least the phoenix within her. Let's have her explore that, but let's not have her go off the deep end and evil. Let's have her be powerful, be a hero, and then let's see her fall from grace. Let's see the drama that inflicts with that when the teammates then now have to fight against her after helping her save the universe. And I think that would make for a better film instead of just trying to rush it all and fit it into one movie because we know 20th Century Fox are not good at that. They are not good at telling good comic book movies. So I think they need a lot of help. And so if they try to rush it all into one movie, it's going to be bad. It's going to be bad. And no one's going to like it. Okay, maybe some people will like it, but most people won't. I won't. I'm really hoping that they spread it across two movies. Let's have X-Men Supernova focus on Jean Grey becoming the Phoenix. And then after that, you have the Dark Phoenix saga. It can actually be called X-Men the Dark Phoenix. And the final thing that I hope that happens in the X-Men Supernova, and I cannot stress this enough, is please, no Hugh Jackman, no Jennifer Lawrence, no Nicholas Holt. And as much as it pains me to say, no Michael Fassbender. The only one of the X-Men who should be in this film that's been overplayed in these all these other earlier films is Professor X. He's the only one who has a role in it. I mean, you could put Wolverine in it because he's important to the storyline, but Hugh Jackman's done. We, he's been in the spotlight enough. The only one it should be is Professor X. Please let Mystique die. Let Magneto go away. Let the Beast go somewhere else because it's not going to be that entertaining when you have a powerful mutant like Jean Grey and the Beast trying to beat her up. I mean, the Beast did nothing against Apocalypse. What is he going to do against Jean Grey? We need to see the other powerful X-Men that actually have cool powers and who are actually a threat and could actually fight against the Dark Phoenix. We need to see that fight happen on screen. And one of the things that I hope 20th Century Fox gets right this time is that they realize that this is a storyline about Jean Grey. It's her story. It's about her becoming the Phoenix, saving the universe, and then getting corrupted by her unlimited power that she has to fight against her teammates and sacrifice herself to save the universe. And hopefully, hopefully, they can make that into a good movie because it's all there. It's there in the comic book. Even the cartoon had more drama than X-Men The Last Stand. It's all there. All they have to do is execute it on screen. So here's hoping.